Welcome back to the channel everyone. This video is going to be teaching you how to use the button widget in Python's GUI library called tkinter. Here we started out with just the main skeleton that we use for most tkinter widgets and little applications and to actually use the button widget we're just going to create a variable called button1 equals button. The first argument for every widget is going to be the root variable or the master variable. In this case it's just going to be root. And then we have a bunch of keyword arguments that we can use. Let's call the text on the button button1. And this is just going to create a button on our interface. It's not going to do anything once we click it, but let's just create the geometry first and see what happens. We're going to run this and we're going to get an interface that pops up and we can see we have a button but it doesn't really do anything. So let's close that window and let's actually make a function that just says greeting. It's going to be a simple function. It's basically a hello world function. It's going to print hello user. And to actually tie a function to a button we're going to use the command keyword argument. So we're going to say command equals greeting. And you don't call any parameter in greeting. If you just call it like this, it's not going to run properly. You have to just say greeting. Python automatically is going to know what you're talking about when you say greeting because you previously defined a function called greeting. Let's run this and see what we get. Once we click the button, we're seeing that hello user is popping up in our terminal window every time we click it. Now let's tie this together with something simple like a entry box. Let's create an entry box and it's and Python's going to take the number in that entry box and square it. To create an entry box, we're going to say entry1 equals entry. The first argument is root. And let's call the width as 10 characters long. We're going to say entry1.pack. And let's just run this to make sure that we're actually getting the entry. We are, and that's good. So now instead of having our greeting print hello user, Let's have it grab the value from that entry widget. So we're going to say that a variable called var equals entry1.get. And if I could spell entry right, that would be fantastic. So entry1.get. And this is actually going to return this value as a string, no matter what it is, even if it's an integer. So let's cast that to an integer in our var variable. Now we're going to print out the value of var var to the second power, which we access by using the pal function. Now let's run this and see what we get. If we type in the value of 12, when we click button 1, we're squaring the value 12. And this works with like 100 or any value or integer you put in. If you type in 12.4, it's going to return an error because we can't typecast that value to an integer. Same thing if we just do some text, we're going to get some weird errors. And this can be handled with try and accept blocks, but that's out of the scope of this video. Buttons are very useful in tkinter, and they're used in most interfaces you're going to be interacting with. So I hope this video was helpful. Please feel free to leave any comments or suggestions down below. Thank you all for watching.